Firepower Threat Defense. 623. Block QIC quick to force TCP. So we can do TLS and and or SSL decryption. So um, quick is pretty cool, right? It's pronounced quick. It's quick UDP internet connections. Uh, it was an experimental transport layer network protocol designed by Jim Rosekind at Google. Initially implemented in 2012, um, went public uh, as experimental in 2013. And then 2015, it's uh, an internet draft of quick was submitted to IETF. So really cool protocol, right? It multiplex connections uh, between two endpoints using UDP. It has uh, equivalent uh, security capabilities as TLS or SSL, uh, reduces latency, bandwidth, etc. So really cool stuff. But the challenge is, is that uh, as um, security practitioners, we may want to have insight into what's actually happening with that particular payload. And in order to do that, we need to decrypt. So because QUIC is not SSL or TLS, it's not as easily done. So the way to do this is to block QUIC application and then Google is smart enough or Google Chrome is smart enough to fall back to TCP. So that's what we're going to do here. So you can see here in my logs and my connection events, I've got some QUIC um, application protocols uh, that have been identified, right? So we're using Chrome, the applications properly identified as quick. So the way to ensure that we're getting TLS or SSL based decryption would be to block at an access policy, the quick application. So, um, and then you would obviously have to build out a TLS or SSL uh, decrypt policy, but the first thing to do is make sure that Chrome is using TCP based connections, not quick. So you can see here what I did was inside to outside, right? Very easy. And then I'm going to search for the application protocol quick. Um, you can see here a little bit of information. Um, I've also included at the beginning there some snippets from Wikipedia as well. So add that application, we'll make it a block uh, action, give it a meaningful name. And in my case, I'm going to actually do logging at uh, obviously beginning of connection because it's a drop and we want to make sure the placement of the rule is proper, right? We want to make sure that it's actually going to be triggered. Rule placement's key. So now we've got our um, new rule. We're just do a quick check. We have the application. We see the action is blocked. We save that and now we can deploy. So one really cool thing in 623 is, is that we include any uh, interruption that may take place. So here it's saying, uh, uh, no, there is no interruption uh, to push this uh, particular policy. So we'll push that out. And then the next thing that we'll do is we'll go over and um, get our connection logs and uh, connection event logging ready, because then we'll do some testing. All right, so that'll come up. Um, but again, if this is a production environment, it'd be very difficult to see all of the different um, uh, specific flows, right? Because you'd have a lot of data going through that. In this case, uh, this is just a lab uh, machine. Uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, edit search, and then I'm going to put down the source. I could have done the application. Uh, there's a variety of ways. You can see there's a ton of uh, attributes here. For me, initiator IP, which is the inside host that I'm going to use uh, to connect with. And then from here, what I'll do is I'll go into the, um, the actual asset and start triggering some data. So let's go to YouTube would be a good one to test. And just uh, triggering uh, as many logs as possible. Here I just pivot to uh, the machine. I act actually had some other things I had to do, so I had to pause. But uh, here I just went to Gmail as well. So again, I'm just trying to make and generate some traffic uh, f that we could uh, see. And what we're going to see here is you can see some blocks already, right, um, taking place. And if we scroll across, what we'll end up seeing is the actual 
quick protocol is blocked and you can see quick client was uh, also part of that block. But as we scroll down, we can see that TCP connection to YouTube, etc. right? So you'll see a couple of blocks and then on allow, but from a user perspective, it was very quick, right? Um, and you can do your own testing with this, but I found that uh, the, the Chrome platform was very quick to, to determine that it was being blocked using quick and then was very quickly uh, transitioned into using TCP. And that's it.